No hey, outdoorsness. It's another rainy Sunday. We're gonna go look for a place to uh, do like a day camp or a cookout or whatever. Um, I kind of want to go see if the Kelly Stand Road is even passable. They uh, they close it in the winter time. They don't maintain it, but I don't know if there's like a gate or not. So let's go there and try that. If that's a no go, we'll um, drive around and find somewhere else. So. All right, I've decided here is a good place. Um, we're maybe, we're not far from where uh, they stopped plowing the road. Now, could go further up and probably find another little uh, pull off like that, but it doesn't get much better than this, frankly, and I don't want to tempt the road anymore. Obviously, other people are driving up and down here without a problem, but uh, my truck is not a, uh, well, the tires are, the tires got maybe another season on and then I gotta think about replacing them. It's also not like a super powerful truck either. I mean, it'll get me through slush and whatnot, but best not tempted. So let's look around. Here we want to post up there. We got uh, these trees here and all Turn the tarp there. Set up here, get some flat ground. We do it over there. That's the pickles. Maybe we can jar our pickles just sitting there. Somebody forgot your pickles. Come get your pickles. Now, people like to camp up on the side of the road here during the summer, and I guess it looks like winter too, but uh, I've never done it. I think it's just day camping, like you're just supposed to post up and then get out of here. It's good for fishing too. So. Alright, I'm gonna make some decisions. It's getting a little chilly, so I'm gonna be out here all day. The car that just went by is amazing. It's like some kind of, I don't know what cars are. It. It's almost like a Mustang. But the whole thing was wrapped in like Marlboro cigarette branding. Amazing. I hope it comes back. <laughs> you have to see it to believe it. It was really great. Hopefully I'll uh, I'll get him on camera when it comes back. I bought a bigger memory card for this thing, so hopefully uh, maybe it'll last one. Man, I hope he comes back, because that was, that was something. Anyway, I've decided to move my little uh, thing here and then uh, work it from there. So, let's see how that goes. So the ground is too hard for the stakes that I was going to use. And I don't feel like spending all darn day hooking up a tarp tent. So I'm just going to do my little cookout in the back of my pickup truck here. And that'll just be, that'll just have to be the entertainment this week, folks. So once every year or two, maybe, I gotta remind myself why I don't like mac and cheese. So I purchased some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna stir in some chopped Vienna sausages. And that's gonna be the lunch for today. Sounds pretty awful, it probably will be. The other problem is I forgot butter, which this thing calls for, so uh, this is probably gonna be and disgusting. But that's okay.
recipe wants six cups of water. That's an awful lot of water. I don't think it would fit in that. So we're just. We'll give it what we can do. Each one of these is about two cups of water. misplaced the caps to these damn things. Let's move this over a bit. to keep everything dry-ish. It's coming down harder now. That uh, vehicle hasn't been back yet. Boy, I hope it comes back. You really need to see the paint job on this thing. <clears throat> Look at that and how steep it is. Every time I drive through here, I feel like I want to climb up there somehow and see what it's like up there. That's definitely not happening today. In fact, it looks a little dangerous to be honest. On any day, like I mean, you wouldn't, you would, it wouldn't have to be icy if you don't lose your footing and uh, come down pretty hard. Look at that. That's gonna come down. Yeah, I'm not up here very far. They don't hate the road. It's pretty clear where they stop plowing. So you wanna use your use your brain, I guess. So we are going to the fire pit right here. Like I said, these are like a day camping. People day camp and these are the pull-offs. Usually they do it in better weather than in warmer climates. Alright, I'm gonna take my cord down over here and hope the back of my truck doesn't catch on fire while I'm not looking. You all remember last week I said I was going to look up how to build a simple tarp shelter and replicate it out here. Well, obviously I didn't do that until this actually becomes my job. I'm not going to make it my job. <laughs> Not that it ever will. I was, uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos lately about um, people quitting YouTube, different people, different genres of YouTube, I guess. What I gather, if you want to make a job out of it, it's actually like more work than a real job. Like you're just always working. At least some of these people were.
If I was using this to pay the bills, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Fortunately, that's not the case. Well, unfortunately, I uh, also don't have to survive outside because I don't think I'd be very long for that either. What is that? What is that? That looks like a mushroom somebody sliced off. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that looks like a. And I can't say that's a hemlock for sure, but um, that does look like the tree you see a reishi grow on. And that looks like the stub of a reishi. So, somebody who knows their mushrooms has been in here, obviously. How's our water coming? Not very. <clears throat> Let's go look across the road while that's boiling, getting ready to boil. That car comes back. I don't have a tide time to stop it. Maybe it won't. Stick. What, uh, what drew me over here? I see deer tracks. Obviously not fresh in the slightest, but they're there. Yeah, check this out. Oh, ice. Listen to that. That's cool. Yeah, maybe in the warmer months I'll come back and I'll, uh, as safely as I can manage, see how far up there I can get. I want to just, uh, some dog tracks too. Yeah, I mean, I'm tempted to drive up there. I don't think it'd be a, a get stuck issue. It'd be more like a little turnaround to present itself in time. I don't think I should be that worried about it. The, uh, like I said, the car that went up earlier with the cool paint job, uh, that was like a set of Mustang or some kind. So. Anyway, are we there yet? Wait. I don't think you need, I don't think you need the six cups it calls for. My uh, girlfriend is a mac and cheese master. And she says you don't need the exact six cups, you can eyeball them. So, I ain't shook, I ain't worried. The snow's coming down better than I thought it was going to. But I said, I'm not worried about like getting trapped up here, I'm just saying. It's the other roads actually we might want to concern ourselves with. Oh, I did want to show you one thing. When I was tying things to trees. Where was it? Was it this tree? No, maybe it was over here. Yes, there it is. Which is better? Edible, but like, why bother? <laughs> Literally tastes like nothing. Um, I don't think it has a lot of nutritional value, from what I understand. So, fun for a snack when you're out, but that's about it. So, we're gonna boil.
I screwed this up. Do you want to know how? You're supposed to bring the water to a boil first. Then you pour in your mac and cheese. Or your mac or whatever. Whatever it is. The way I did it, our texture's going to be off. <laughs> so, like I said, I eat mac and cheese maybe twice a year. Just to remind myself I don't like it. But maybe one of the reasons I don't like it is because I don't cook it right. But, normally I do cook it right. I just don't like it. So, I'm not going to like it either this time. But it won't be the mac and cheese. Alright, I'm going to say it's tender enough. Doesn't look good. Does it taste good? Let's try the mac and cheese part first. No, it's not good. No one with a sausage in it. Also not good. Boy. This just seems like a, an exercise in self self-destruction. <laughs> Anyway, at least the tea will be good. It's hard to screw up a cup of tea, but I'm sure I'll manage. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna eat my mac and cheese out here behind my truck. Here, I, I want to sit down. I'm gonna get my uh, stool. Because my initial plan was gonna be uh, go to where I like to go off the Roaring Branch, but uh, which oh, there's a funny part. So. In Bennington, where I normally like to go, it's, it's the river is called the Roaring Branch. Um, interestingly enough, this river is also the Roaring Branch. <clears throat> They're completely different rivers. Both went wild during a tropical storm, I mean.
In case you're wondering, no, I'm not enjoying it. Come on, I'm not going to waste it. Which is funny, because it's probably the most disposable food you can get. Maybe be doing my body a huge favor by not finishing it. It's not cold, too. That's the best part. You know what? I don't think outdoorsing is about out and cool crap that is objectively awful for no reason. Which is what this is. So, I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> It's disgusting. I'm gonna let that tea um, get a little colder while I pack up and get ready to sit in my truck for a bit. Alright, I think I'm gonna get outdoors this. I am gonna recover that jar of pickles. I'm not going to eat the pickles, but I'm going to make sure this jar gets to a proper home. Like the garbage. Just making sure I didn't leave anything. That's that is an embarrassment. I don't think so. I don't think I did. I was hoping that car would come back. Man, that would have made the whole video. This video could have used it, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, they can't all be great, boys. Well, probably most of them can. So. Sure, that might be sealed still. The top is sealed. I'm not eating road pickles. I'm just not doing that. I'm not eating the road pickle life. Okay. All right. I'm just going to say that's the video. Uh, like and subscribe. And maybe next time I'll have something a little more planned out for you. Then again, maybe not.